Recording started. All right, we are talking now about the sine and cosine of any angle, not just a right angle, or an acute angle, I'm sorry. So some definitions to start us out with. Um, an angle in standard position with point x, y lying on the terminal side, r is going to equal square root of x squared plus y squared. So sine theta will be y over r, and cosine theta will be x over r. So let's jump into an example. So the terminal side angle in the standard position lying in the uh, quadrant 4, find the sine and cosine, and it's given by this function. Okay. The very, very, very first thing you're going to do is sketch it out. So here's just, and this is my rough sketch of my of my line coming down through. Uh, should come right through the origin. But I'll make it look like it does. So that's the terminal side of an angle. So we can get rid of all this stuff over on this side, right? Because we're only interested in the uh, uh, terminal side in quadrant. In quadrant three, and again, the angle really is angle starting at the initial side here on the x-axis, but all the way around to this side. So we are dealing with an angle um, that's that's not an acute angle in the first quadrant. So how do we start this problem? We start this problem by just picking some number for x. One, two, three. I don't know. I'm going to pick four. I'm going to just let x equal 4. You can choose any number you want to. y will then be negative 3 times x, but x, again, we've picked to be a 4, so negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So if I pick maybe this ordered pair right here, that ordered pair is 4 comma negative 12. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to find r. r will be the square root of 4 squared plus negative 12 squared. So r will equal the square root of 16 plus 144. So r is the square root of 200. Well, not 200, but how about 160? 16 plus 144. Is 160. Not sure where I got the 200 from. All right, but I could rewrite uh, 16 or 160 as the square root of 16 times 10. 16 can come out of my square root, so I'll wind up with r being equal to 4 times the square root of 10. So there's my r. I've got an x of 4 and a y of negative 12. I think I'm ready to write out the sine and the cosine of, of that angle. So sine of angle theta should be y over r. So we'll have negative 12 over 4 times the square root of 10. The, uh, well, 4 goes into 4 one time and then negative 12 three times. So we'll wind up finally here with negative 3 over the square root of 10. There's my sine value. Cosine theta should be x over r. So that's going to be 4 over 4 times the square root of 10. And of course, Switching in colors again. The 4 is canceled, so I wind up with 1 over the square root of 10. So I now have, I'll do this in blue. I now have both the sine and the cosine. Now sometimes you will be asked to rationalize those guys. So let's go on to the next slide. And uh, to rationalize them, Sorry, I couldn't spell and uh, speak at the same time. But to rationalize just means you're going to get rid of the square root out of the bottom. So sine theta was equal to negative 3 over the square root of 10. 
the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to multiply by whatever was on the bottom. So I'll multiply by the square root of 10 over the square root of 10, which is still just a 1. So I'm not changing the value of my fraction. On top, I get negative 3 times the square root of 10. On the bottom, the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is the square root of 100, which turns out just, just to be a plain old 10. So I wind up with negative 3 times the square root of 10 over a plain old 10. And I have just rationalized the bottom of that sine of our angle theta. Uh, let's do the same thing cosine of theta. Cosine of theta was 1 over the square root of 10. Oops, I need to change my pen color here and show you what I'm multiplying by, which is the square root of 10 over the square root of 10. There we go. So I'll get the square root of 10 over the square root of 100, because I multiply 10 times 10. I'll get the square root of 10 over a plain old 10. And again, that is my rationalized answer. Now, not all of them will ask you to rationalize, but when they do, that's how you do it.